When water freezes, its molecules leave the liquid phase and attach to other molecules in the solid phase. At the freezing point, an equal number of molecules move into and out of the solid phase. A solution of ethylene glycol, automobile antifreeze, has a freezing point lower than that of pure water. Molecules of the solute block the interface between the solid and liquid phases, thus decreasing the rate at which molecules leave the liquid phase and attach to the solid. Freezing point depression is the lowering of the freezing point of a substance. For example, the freezing point of water can be dropped below zero degrees Celsius. We do this by adding a contaminant. We could add salt or sugar or alcohol or ethylene glycol or antifreeze. Anything that will dissolve in water will suffice. We could predict what the new freezing point of water will be by using an equation such as the one on the screen. This equation is set up for water and particularly for a thousand grams or one kilogram of water. And these are the kinds of problems you will be doing in OWL and on your quiz. The equation is as follows. The change in freezing point, which would be the drop in temperature, is equal to N, which is the number of ions in the formula. So if the formula is an ionic, or if the compound that you're putting in the water is an ionic compound, you count the number of total ions in the formula. So if it's sodium chloride, there's one sodium and one chloride, N would be 2. If you determine that it's a molecular compound, N is 1. For example, if it's sugar or an alcohol, N is 1. 1.86 is always 1.86. That doesn't change because we're talking about water. Moles of particles is that itself. And you determine the moles of particles by dividing the mass of the contaminant, say salt, by the molecular weight of the contaminant. So for example, if you were to put 10 grams of salt in NaCl, you would divide that by 54 grams per mole. That's the molecular weight of sodium chloride. 